Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna make an even stranger claim than the claims made in the previous uh, couple of videos, which is that there are only as many positive rational numbers as there are natural numbers. Uh, in fact, you can make this claim more general and say that there are as many rational numbers as there are natural numbers. That is, Q, the rational numbers, is countably infinite. That's to say, the cardinality of Q, the cardinality of the rational numbers, is aleph no, just like the natural numbers. Um, now, if you forgot what rational numbers are, rational numbers are fractions where the numerator and denominator are both integers. Uh, now, uh, let's focus on positive rational numbers um, because you can generalize my argument to include negative rational numbers and show that, um, in general, that um, rational numbers are countably infinite. But we're going to focus on showing that the positive rational numbers are countably infinite. And then you can use uh, a similar idea to show that Q generally uh, is countably infinite. Uh, now, uh, the way we're going to do this, this as usual, is um, figure out how to put the elements of Q in one-to-one -one correspondence with the natural numbers. So let's get our list of natural numbers ready for that. Now, the trick here is, and this example is trickier than the previous couple, is how do we even list um, all the possible uh, rational numbers? That is, even if we just kept it to the positive rational numbers, how do we write down all the possible uh, positive fractions with uh, numerator and denominator integers? Where the numerator and denominators are both integers, I should say, uh, in case someone was confused about. Um, uh, yeah, my... Uh, attempt at briefer description of what positive rational numbers are. Anyway, anyway, how do we write them down is the question. How about this table, right? We create this table, and this is due to uh, the German mathematician Cantor. Yeah, and this um, argument of how to count Q or positive Q uh, is said Cantor's diagonalization argument. Um, so credit where credit is due. And so this is the clever method, which is you create this infinite grid table, right? And the way you create this infinite grid or table is um, first up top in red, you write down all the possible numerators. And then here on the left in black, you write down all the possible uh, denominators. That way, each of these cells has, um, in total, the cells of this grid have all the possible uh, rational numbers, the po possible positive rational numbers, right? Um, because like, the red ones capture all the possible numerators. The black ones capture all the possible denominators. So we have to have all the possible rational numbers, at least the positive ones, uh, in this infinite table or in this infinite grid. Yeah? Okay. Now, the trick is how do we list them? How do we list them under the natural numbers, right? Because if you try to list them by going down this first row, you'll never get off this first row because this first row is infinite. Look at the dot, dot, dot here. Uh, next, you'll have 9 over 1 and then 10 over 1. You'll never get off this first row if you decide to count them along this row. Likewise, if you decide to count them down this column, you'll never get off this column because after 1 over 8 is 1 over 9 and 1 over 10, and that'll go on ad infinitum. So Cantor's uh, clever method is this. Uh, he realized that instead of uh, going along uh, this row or this column, we can do this instead. And uh, let me be a bit more careful here. Um, he said, hey, why don't you start right here, right? Let's say that this is our first one. And then go to this guy is our second one. And then move diagonally. Therefore, Cantor's diagonalization argument diagonally to this guy. And then move to this guy here. And then move back diagonally this diagonally this way and then here you get it you get it you get it and then here right um and then here ah my circle is getting poorer i should probably like quit while i'm ahead right um okay so there and then here okay let me know when you're getting bored and um like yeah here okay actually like i have uh, more serious things to say uh, in a second so like don't get bored yet um, so here and then here like can you figure out where I'm gonna go next yes um, right there right okay cool you get it you get it so you move in this manner and then you could deliberately list them underneath each of the natural numbers like this right like so like yeah like um, Q 
you could start with the first one in this uh, diagonal movement, which was 1 over 1, and that's 1, and that's the first of many occurrence of the number 1, and then next move to um, 2 over 1, and then you get it. So you see that like just like this 2 over 2 right here repeating the 1 over 1 you're going to get some repetition. So you can discard them off your list or keep them on your list um, and it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that Q is listable in this manner and therefore uh, there are as many rational numbers as there are natural numbers. That concludes it here and the next guy is going to be uncountably infinite. Yeah? Alright, cool. Keep watching.